Today, I will show you how to upgrade from Windows 11 to Windows 10 and it will work in three different situations. If you bought a computer or laptop with Windows 11 pre-installed, if you installed Windows 11 on your computer yourself, or if you missed more than 10 days after updating Windows 10 to Windows 11, and now want to go back to Windows 10, then this video will be a good guide for you to switch to Windows 10. As a result of the process, you will get a new Windows 10, and all your photos, videos and applications will be automatically saved. Now the important question is what will happen to your Microsoft license after the transition to Windows 10 is completed. In order for your license to be transferred to Windows 10, you need to follow my steps from the video exactly, and then the new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. Ok, open the browser and in search right, download Windows 10. Or open the video description, and click the link to the Windows 10 download page. The Microsoft page has opened. Here we can read the rules for installing Windows 10. To download a special application to your computer, a tool for downloading the Windows 10 ISO file, click here. The application has been downloaded and our browser can be closed. Now open Explorer, and open the Downloads folder. Double-click on the icon, and the application will start. Here you must accept the license terms, Accept. In this window, I choose to create a bootable USB flash drive, but we will not create a flash drive, this will help us download the ISO file. Next. If you uncheck the box here, you can select any language for Windows 10 in this window. I left it English. Next. Here we need to select the download of the ISO file Windows 10. Next. In the window that opens, we need to select a location to save the ISO file, I select the desktop, save, and the ISO file has begun downloading to the computer. For a while, we do not need to do anything and wait for the download to complete. The download of the ISO file has completed. Now you need to double click on the ISO file, and in this window open the folder, Sources. Here you need to scroll down and find the file, Setup. Double click on this file, and the process of upgrading to Windows 10 will begin. In this window, click, No Thanks, as you will be able to get all updates after Windows 10 installation is complete. In the next window, click I don't have a product key as your new Windows 10 will be activated automatically. Here you need to select the same edition of Windows 10 that you had before. If you had Windows Home, then select Windows 10 Home, if you had Windows Pro, then select Windows 10 Pro, and then your Microsoft license will be saved in the new Windows 10. I agree to the license terms. Next. To continue the installation, click here. In this window we see the C drive of my computer and several small system partitions. My computer only has one 1 TB drive connected, it is possible that in addition to the C drive, your drive also has a D drive connected, or several drives are connected to your computer, but in any case, you do not need to do anything with these drives and partitions in this window, so as not to lose personal data. To continue installing the new Windows 10, you need to click on the C drive, and then click Next. You will immediately see a message from the installer, from this message you will learn that when the installation of the new Windows 10 is complete, all your personal files will be placed in the Windows old folder, and you will be able to use your files in the new Windows 10. Click OK, and the installation of Windows 10 will begin immediately. You do not need to do anything for a while, and you can relax. Your computer will automatically restart several times. Please do not turn off your computer. The installation is complete, and we need to make the last settings, select the region. Yes. Now the keyboard layout. Yes. Skip. 
I choose for home use. Next. If you have a Microsoft account, enter your details here. If you click create account, you will create a new Microsoft account. You just need to follow the system's recommendations. I will create a local account without registering in Microsoft and I'll click offline account. I click limited experience. Here you need to enter your username. Next. I don't need a password. Next. New Windows welcomes us. Yes, I downgraded my Windows 11 version to Windows 10, and I hope that everything will go well for you too. I open settings. Then the account section. And here we see that my Windows 10 is managed by a local account. But if you want to sign into a Microsoft account, then click here and then follow the system's recommendations. Let's see how the automatic activation of Windows 10 went. Yes, here we see that my Windows 10 Pro is activated according to my digital license. Now we need to check how my personal files are saved. To do this, open Explorer, then the This PC window, and in this window, double-click on Drive C. Here we see the Windows old folder with my files, let's open it. Then open the Users folder. Here I open the folder with my username. If you remember, there were several folders on my desktop in Windows 11. And I open the desktop. Yes, here are my old folders with videos and photos, I will check whether I lost my files or not. No, I did not lose anything, my files were saved. To check how the applications were saved, you need to open this PC again, then double-click on Drive C, and here open the Windows old folder. Usually, installed applications are located in the Program Files folder, I open it. Let's check how this application works. To place an application shortcut on the desktop, I right-click on the shortcut and select, Send to Desktop. Double click on the shortcut and the application launched without problems, all other applications that were installed in Windows 11 will work in the same way. I hope that today you learned something new, and if this was useful for you, please share this video with someone else. Write me in the comments and I will answer you. Have a nice day.